OnShapes Replicate is a powerful feature for instancing repeated parts in an assembly without having to insert and mate each one. Each created instance is grouped under the Replicate feature itself in the assembly list. New with this release, you can easily dissolve the Replicate group. Each part will then be listed within the assembly with an independent mate created below in the mates list. These instances and mates can be individually edited, which also allows you to restructure components into subassemblies even after using a replicate. Keyboard shortcuts are a great way to quickly interact with your model. Here, we can tap the Y key to quickly hide a part that the cursor is hovering over. New with this release, we can also show parts this way, using Shift plus Y. Hovering over the location of a hidden part in the graphics area and tapping Shift Y will return that part to being visible. OnShape drawings now include improved controls for formatting individual dimensions. From the right side, expand the new Styles panel. Selecting one or more dimensions, you can now adjust their dimension style independently from the overall drawing properties. You can change the font, size, color, arrowheads, as well as the dimension line text orientation and spacing. You can also adjust the extension lines, including hiding individual extension lines, if you wish. Finally, you may revert a selected dimension back to match the drawing properties by simply clicking the Revert button at the bottom of the Styles panel. In this release, you'll find improved automatic hatching for multi-part and assembly section views. Hatching scale, as well as the angle of orientation of hatch, has been optimized based on the size of the individual parts. This produces cleaner and more distinguishable results automatically, even in complicated views with many unique components. View references in OnShape drawings can now be pinned to a specific version. From the Sheets panel, you may right-click on a view or a reference, and you'll find a new option for Pin Reference. Similar to other OnShape environments, pinning a drawing reference is a convenient way to explicitly reference a specific version of a model. If a new version is created, it will show a subtle update icon, but indicate that the reference is still pinned. References can be unpinned or updated as required. Automatic center lines are now supported in all shape drawings. When creating drawing views of parts or surfaces, center lines are now automatically added to any circular geometry such as holes, cylinders, and spheres. For assembly drawings, center lines are not added by default but can be shown or hidden by right-clicking a view, then selecting Show Center Lines or Hide Center Lines. OnShape Render Studios now allow you to transform sub-assemblies or individual parts within an assembly. Simply select the element from the scene graph, and on the selection panel, expand Transform. Here you may move, rotate, or scale the selected parts as you need. This can be extremely useful if your part is imported or modeled in some orientation other than how you may want to render it. You can also remove caps, covers, or show a basic degree of freedom without having to return to the OnShape assembly environment. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.